Hello and welcome back to Lego Chef UK. As you can see, we are picking up <clears throat> from where I'm, I left off with our advent calendars, and we've got the sweet um, I can't, snowman. There you go. It's Christmas snowman. Um, just showing you off the snowman that we got. There was a bit of hot chocolate which I believe I am missing, but I have a spare because Lego like Chef UK um, fiance tidied up. But let's get straight into this. As I did on my previous video for Star Wars, I have opened them all up. The only one we got left now is 24, just down below here. So I've built these, so it just speeds up the little the video. And then I've left one that we go through together. Okay, so starting off, cupcake stand. This is awesome. Really happy with this. You know, for the money you're spending on these, look at the cupcakes, the wheels, just the gold. Ah, oh, just uh, absolutely amazing. And what festive scene is complete without a cupcake stand. Moving on, as we're going for like uh, things that you stack around or stand around people, a festive clock in the middle of the um, like festive market that you go to, really simple, but really good and effective. Let's see if we can get it standing up. Yep, there we go. That is a really nice piece. I would say with this Lego City set, not as good as the Lego Star Wars, as in minifigures and the little mini builds, but in its own right, with the own city and the way it's going, absolutely phenomenal. I would really recommend next year if you haven't got one, or excuse me, or if you can go and grab yourself one now, just to keep away, so worth it. I know that the Lego Star Wars went down to 14 pounds in the, uh, the Lego store. So if you can get yourself one, it's definitely worth the money. And just see what I mean? Just a little digger there, and yes, the articulation up and down so you can do your digging work as a little toy is oh, really, really happy. Really vibrant colors as well with the city. So we'll keep it in the yellows, helicopter, and obviously that will go around but will come off. Just so simple, but so, so well built or designed. Absolutely amazing really really nice and then we've got here i believe these because it come with this again is a truck wheels go round see if we can stick them on the road so i believe you can see that i think it just stops or it might use it as a ramp because it does look kind of um like a monster truck in the end why are you not there we go, it looks like a monster truck. Really nice detail with just a simple square block on the top just to show it's like the engine. So that will go down there. One of the pieces that I thought was absolutely amazing are these four bits here. And if you cannot already recognize what it is, uh, I'll do it two at a time so you can actually see them. And that focus on them. Get the camera to focus. Come on, you. See, it's Christmas. Even the camera doesn't want to be working. There we go. The remote control cars. So, so good. So clever. Oh, I just can't believe it. So you've got a blue one. And you also got the red one to go with it so you've got like a matching set on them which is absolutely quality so so pleased with them that was a nice surprise in one of the uh, things and on one of the days and what i've been waiting for is probably my favorite so far out of the whole lot wind up robot he's got his winder there he's got a little clock for a steam or and then i believe this might be either a battery or just like his energy supply, it could be anything you want it to be really, can't it? I'm real having trouble with, the, yeah, there we go, camera. Absolutely quality, favorite piece so far. And then what's Christmas without a Christmas tree? Even has a Lego man angel. Really nice, lights on the bottom. Really simple, really, really delighted with that one. And what's 
goes around the Christmas tree. I have finally figured out what these are, our Christmas presents. So just sort of like a, a, a bumper in your days just to fill the actual scene in. So as you've noticed, unlike if you go to my last video and watch the um, Star Wars one, we had three minifigures. No minifigures yet. We have one minifigure here. Literally, out of all of them bays I missed, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days. Two, four, six, eight, nine days I've missed. Not one minifigure. So let's do this minifigure together. So it's the one. And let's build him. So he's definitely either a baker or a person that is going to... No, it's definitely a baker. Because he's got a chef's hat. If I can get a chef's hat on. And there he is. Absolutely quality jumper. The nice dark green trousers. And he's got his moustache there. Kind of looks like they've gone for a traditional, say like German kind of way. Um, with the whole sort of outlook in that. Because obviously Christmas is from... Uh, Where's St. Nick from? Is St. Nick from... St. Nicholas? I've got the same St. Nick. St. Nicholas. I think he was like Nordic or something. He was, he was that way. Don't quote me on that, but... Kind of them that that sort of way inclined, shall we say? So he's got a tray of biscuits or like cookies that he's trying to give to the children. Let's turn his hand around, see if he can hold these. So for the lack of minifigures, oh, is he even going to hold this? A very nice one to fill that space really happy with that so hope you've enjoyed everybody please subscribe hit that thumbs up hit that thumbs down everything helps and um, don't forget we have still got the giveaway going on a dc uh, batman attack of talons still going once we hit 100 subscribers i will pick a winner random so you need to put a comment on there i'm on twitter as well at um at lego chef uk so go and have a little look on there and see what i put up also on that page but as always all you lego collectors out there keep collecting goodbye